Hey guys, this is the Spirit Mongo 187 and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. Uh, last match we played against the 11 and today we're also against, we're going to play against the 11. It was uh, a success, we have won, so we are at 109 rating points now and our goal is to reach at least 260 with this land deck. Maybe I'm going to tweak it up or if you guys have some tips or hints for the deck so I will be able to switch some cards, but as I see it now, I have 40 cards in the deck and it's pretty balanced and I think this is one of the best combinations you can have. But there are some different decks around here. So uh, Let's see what we're going to sacrifice. We're playing against the loud one, yes. Uh, so the Agent Grex is always nice, this is nice. Um, let's get rid of one Raven I think. It's a very good card but yeah, it costs 5 resources and most of the time when I have uh, the early game and even if I started the game as, as the first turn so you don't draw a card most of the times I sacrifice the card that costs the most resources because it will take like 5 or 6 turns to play it so, and I don't want to hold it for like 5 or 6 turns because and sacrifice other cards that I could use in the early game so that's why I could throw away the Raven. It's a very nice card, but and there comes a tome, a free tome for me. So I can steal it with my Agent Rex. And I will be behind a little bit. Or are we going to do that next turn? Mm. Well, let's just do it next turn. We're going to apply some pressure first. So if he's going to draw a card next turn, I got my Jasmine to play for some damage. And if he's not going to draw a card, I'm going to steal it from him. Or he's going to destroy the Ancient Rex. But that's not much of a problem because we have stopped the Thief. Oh, he has some more tomes in his hand. But let's see. Lex one two four. Let's give him the high. Have fun. And let's see what he's going to do. There comes a priest of the light. And we are going to throw away. Um, oh, I really want to keep this card. Um, we're going to throw away the ill god. Mm. Let's get rid of the Tainted Oracle. Maybe I should have played this card this turn. Destroy him, draw a card. But I really want to steal that Tome of Knowledge. And kill the Priest of the Light. And then turn. So maybe it was a stupid choice. So now he's going to take down my Jasmine and play an ally, so he's uh, a bit at the advanced time. Because he has one ally in play and I don't have anything in play. But let's just see what he's going to do. And that's why I keep kept the Seductress, so I can at least disable that ally if he's going to play one. Yep, there it is. Taking down Jasmine. And it's my turn again. So let's just skip it. So and use his ability. Disable him. And we'll just end turn here. So maybe I was a bit too obsessed with stealing the tome, but. Yeah, we're not in a bad position either, so let's just gonna see what he's going to do up. Next turn, if my seductress is not going to die, we can destroy his arm on the brave. But it depends a bit on what he's going to play now. I hope he's not going to drop anything big. I hope he's going to cast a fireball at my land. And there comes a jasmine and a new tome. Mm -hmm. We have another Rex, so we could steal this dome again, but we're not going to do that. Um, 
We are going to play the Tainted Oracle, I think. And just hit the Jasmine into the ground. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So we'll just give him stealth. Tag him to do. And take him down. Take her down, excuse me. <laughs> so let's see what he's going to do this turn. He's probably going to sacrifice the thing so he can draw another card. And he's going to destroy one of my allies, I guess. Because if he's not going to do that, I'm going to destroy his all the next turn. So he's not going to sacrifice anything. So he has a good card in his hand. Here comes the Priest of the Light and a card draw. So this is hard. Are we going to play the Ill-Gotten or the Stop the Thief? Well, I don't want him to draw any more cards, so we're going for the Stop the Thief. And let's just skip it. We have enough resources to play Stop the Thief and to draw a card. Um, well, 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 I'm going to sacrifice the Tainted Oracle or give some damage to the Lyarian. Let's just do that. Let's just try to keep them alive, both of them. Take down the Aldum. So we have three cards in our hands, three cards in play. That's not very bad. And we have uh, also a very important card, the Tome of Knowledge is going to give me some card advantage. If we're going to use it. Because we only use it once. Let's just see what he's going to drop now. An ally wouldn't be much of a problem, I think. Because we have an ankle breaker and an assassination, so... What is he going to do? Is he going to give me the cards? There comes the lightning strike. Yeah, I was scared of that. Taking them both now. Giving me two cards. And he's going to hit me. For three damage. Take me down to 21. And the bad Santa. Ooh. Pretty nasty bad Santa. Um, let's get rid of his server type. And we'll just play uh, Ankle Breaker. And an Agent Rex again. We're going to stop the Priest of Light from attacking. And enter. The bad Santa was really nasty. He gained like three cards and I only draw one. And it stopped me from drawing a card for my turn, so it was a real good timing for the bad center. That's how you're supposed to time your bad center card. You just you should not blur it out like yeah we're both going to draw two three cards because it's almost always a waste. So there it comes with his ability. Is he going to destroy it? Nope, that's not. I'm not a bad Santa. Oh, I hate this. He's drawing so many cards. Let's get rid of one ill button. And that was what that was what I was trying to prevent. That he drew so many cards. Well, let's just give him some more cards if we want to draw cards. And drop out a Jasmine here. And an ill button. I'm not going to overextend the board because we can expect a supernova. Let's just give him the opportunity to reduce his ability. Ooh, this is a very nasty game. He got so many cards in his hand. He can burn me for a lot. So I have to deal some damage to him very quickly. I do not see how. Oh, he's going to fireball my Jasmine, that's nice. Another fireball at my face. What we could better do was throw two fireballs at my face, I think, and burn the Jasmine with his ability. But let's 
dropout adjustment draw a card and the night shape yeah night shape and hit him in the face and we'll just save our ability once we really need it I think or do we want to hit him for three? No. Let's just hit him in the face for two. And we'll enter. Because we're going to see a supernova here. Yeah? Then we're going to 12 life. That really sucks. Because I do not have enough firepower to take him down quickly, I think. No supernova. Not yet, at least. There comes a priest of light. Another priest of light. And his ability. Very nasty. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to attack. No, oh, it's not going to use it. Okay. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yes. Target this one. Take him for. Yeah, just just take down this bad boy, and we'll draw a card. Attack him. He got so many life left. Twenty-five. Attack him once more. Take him down to twenty-four. It was just. Drop out another nightshade and use our ability. And we'll and turn. And just keep our ankle breaker uh, at one re at one how do you call it? At one durability. Well you have three of them in here, so I have fifteen cards left. He's at fourteen cards. So we both drew a lot of cards. So these last matches, also with Zeladar, I really need to do everything I can. I was so used with Jasmine to win in turn 5 or turn 6. Well, not always turn 5 or 6, but those, those, were, those matches were pretty short. So it doesn't matter. Long matches are more exciting, maybe. There comes Lightning Strike, taking me down to 14. And his ability, maybe he does not play Supernova. Or he's going to save them, or... Well, he can handle this situation pretty good. I'm at 10 health here. So, what we are going to do is play a new Jasmine. We're going to give it haste. We're going to use our ability. We're going to hit him. We really have to do some damage against him. I really hate this bug that you cannot drag and drop anymore. So we need to go the old way of attacking. And take him for two more. And we'll just use our ability to draw one more card. We have some healing. It's the only healing card that I've played, Home of Dead. It gives me two cards and two or three health. I think two health. If you have at least three or four allies in your graveyard, I guess. And there comes another disabling for my chessman. This is nice. Let's get rid of the forgotten. Let's play the ankle breaker. We should really take out these at least. And let's draw a card first. So we have to take them out. It sucks. I do not like giving them cards. Oh, this was stupid. I should have attacked him with a nightshade, then I could do some damage to him. It was stupid. 
I'm not paying attention. Well, I'm at 10 health. If he has 3 fireballs, I'm dead. But I think he already used 3. Um, let's see what he's going to do. Here comes a lightning strike. At my face and at the nightshade, I guess. No, at the Alden. That is going to be a very, very close match. I'm at 7 health here. Nice, there comes a Christopher Wild. Taking down my Alden. And he has 3 resources left. 4, nothing. A Tome of Knowledge. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this one. Because we have so many more resources than him. Just gain some health. And give off the crystal a while. We have to play an album. And what are we going to play next? Nightshade. Attack him for two. Taking him down to 15. Taking him once more. 13. And draw a card. Just keep in hand the other two, uh, the other two allies. So let's see what he's up to now. He can draw a card. He got eight resources left. Six now. Uh, Supernova would be the best, I think, for him. And he would put me on a very difficult situation, but no, there comes a Christopher Wild. So I guess no Supernovas in this deck. Three Christopher Wilds. He could put me down to six health. And that's what he's going to do, I think. Giving me another card. He's at 13. So next turn I would do them um, two, four, six. 7, 8, 9 damage. I'm at 6. I guess he cannot destroy me next turn. So I think we have a win here. Mm, let's get rid of Assassination. Let's play our Fleet Footed Messenger. Use his ability. that one and we're going to attack him two another three bring him to eight seven six five four and kill off the press for a while play an ankle breaker putting him on 2 life so he cannot kill me next turn no card in his deck can do me 6 damage I think there is another card in the game that could do that 5 is really the max I think the supernova but I guess he doesn't play it well it's over he sacrifices the card I hope he enters turn quick yep he does and that's a GG Let's just attack him here, take him down. So a good start with Lance the Shadow Stalker. It was a pretty tough match, but we won in the end. So we gained some rating again. Let's see what we got now. 137. So we're climbing up the rating again. Well, I hope you liked this match. And uh, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next match again with Lance the Shadow Stalker. Cheers guys!